Good day, viewers. You are welcome back to my channel. As you already know, my name is Israel Gwai. In our today's discussion, we are going to have a look at Esther's. Esther's, also known as Akai Akanoit. Popularly known as Esther's. Esther's are organic compound that have the general molecular formula ROCOO arrow prime. Where arrow is the archive group, arrow prime as well is the archive group. But they may be the same or different. For example, this archive group can be CH3, COO. This one also can be CH3, in which case we call this methyl ethanoid. This is a methyl group, this is an ethanoid from ethanoic acid. Or we can have CH3, COOC, 2H5. This ethyl group, ethyl. They always start naming from the alkanol group, from this side, from the right hand side, ethyl ethanoid. Like I said, you can see, see, this one is alkyl group, alkyl group. So, methyl, methyl. Why this one is methyl and this ethyl? So, these are esters. That is the formula for esters. How do we actually identify this ester? We can see that ester by their good aroma. Scent of flowers, scent of perfumes, scent of palm oil, and what have you, and many others. So that's how you identify ester. The perfume you always call all about, it is ester. Now, how does ester, how is ester usually formed, or alkanoid formed? Usually formed by the reaction of an alkanoic acid with an alkanol, normally usually called alcohol. Let's take, for example, ROCOOH plus ROOH. Maybe prime may not be, may not be. Maybe the same or different. We have ROCOO arrow plus H2O. The fourth reaction is esterification. That reverse reaction is hydrolysis. Remember, esterification is the reaction between an alkanol, alkanol and alkanoic acid to form ester. That's the fourth reaction. But the reverse reaction is the hydrolysis simply a reaction which substance reacts with water to form by the compound that, that initiate that formed it. So these compounds, this product, they react again with water to reform the original uh, reactants. That is hydrolysis. So esters, as we already know, they are usually very, very slow. Their reactions are always very slow. As a result of that, they require a catalyst. You have to warm it, and you also need a catalyst, H2SO4, tetrazosorbic acid. You must add it to the, com to the uh, compound so that the reaction can be fast. If not, it's too slow. Then that is that on ester. Those are the two conditions for esterification reaction to occur, and which is very, always very common in your, in your uh, uh, standard exams. So that is that. Let's use a typical example. CH3 COOH plus um, CH3 OH. So this compound is ethanoic acid and this methanol to now produce CH3 COO CH3 plus H2O. You can see it. This one is methyl, it's starting from the alkanol side, methyl ethanoid. You already know that that is water. So this is how esters are formed. And there are several other reactions you can also carry out, in which case you vary the methyl group, or you may put, call it ethyl, the name of the compound will differ. But remember, in all of them, when you are naming, start naming from the, um, from the right hand side, where the alkanol was attached. So that is that on esters. Remember again, esters are fairly slightly soluble in water, but they, you, are, you are usually very soluble in organic solvents like benzene and others. Thank you for watching my video. Please kindly subscribe.